happened? How, how did you find the differences between the two? Um, enormous. Um, the, the stories were still exciting. They, they've always been uh, interesting and exciting and unusual to do. I mean, for any person uh, and any, um, in any job that you actually did on any of the series, they, it was always interesting to do. Um, the difference was that in, in the 80s, which is when I did my episodes, first episodes, uh, they were all multi-camera studio. And strange enough, the BBC always did um, filmed excerpts, uh, filmed location work um, that was cut into electronic multi-camera studio work. So it always looked odd because it jarred. Suddenly you got this kind of film flicker um, when you went outside, but inside was um, electronically all stable and whatever. Uh, and it was multi-camera. So you had four or five cameras in the studio being cut up by a, a, an assistant, a, a vision mixer who sat next to you in the gallery, um, cutting up all the shots that you'd planned as the episode or as the, as the scenes were done. You know, as you went through each scene, um, all the shots that I planned were all written down and he would cut or she would cut up those shots as each line or each movement or wherever I wanted the cutting to happen would happen. By the time we got to um, 2006, which is when I was invited to come back to um, the new series, uh, now it was like um, all the movies, Star Wars and uh, uh, all those great science fiction films, single camera. So it's like you're making a film. You're doing a single camera shoot where you shoot every shot singularly with a single camera. Well, you had two cameras probably covering a wide, sh a wider shot, maybe a mid shot and a, and a tight shot at the same time, whatever. There were laws and rules you had to abide by. 